Oh my God. I've been saying hi. I said hello to every one of y'all. I swear. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. That is so funny. Um, I said, sorry that I'm late. Um, Amber, I saw that you have your shirt on, which I love that. That's really cool. Um, I love your picture, Mama Bear of Two. Uh, hello to Selena, Cherokee Girl, Mark, Amber, Frankie, Nikki, Rapu, Wolfie, Broken Dishes, Punksy. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> no sound. You're muted. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was way behind on the comments. <laughs> no sound. Can't hear you. Oh, no. Can't hear you, Alex. <laughs> oh, no. I'm little, but I'm not muted. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just too funny. She just said I won sub of the month. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> No sound. Y'all, I am sorry. I'm sorry my dad's out there beeping his horn. Hey, Angie. I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> hey, Mystic. Hey, Raybird. <laughs> Love you too, Anna Banana. You cannot throw an axe while being little. I'm sorry, Woofy. I am glad that you are little and you may not be good at axe throwing. Hey, Sandy Beach. Hello, backcountry living. Okay. So, we've talked about Robin on my channel a couple times. We've went over her interviews. Um, I know that I've been pretty suspicious of some things that have to do with her. Um but I think that I could explain those things away. I don't want to be too suspicious. I've been hopeful that uh, maybe there was some kind of illegal adoption or something. Um, I'm starting to just believe that's not the case. And I think that it's, it's she's very awkward. So it's easy to um, question some of her behaviors. But none of us are used to... Um, you know, these situations, we don't know how we would act. I'm awkward as hell. Hell, I just said, talk to y'all for two minutes um, <laughs> on mute, you know, so I don't want to be too rough on her. I think that, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> yes, Chowder, this is just starting. So, Robin, Thank you, Woofie. Some really awesome girl got it for me. Her name's Woofie because <laughs> I love Mellow Yellow and she knows it. Um, but anyways, um, one of Robin's friends, a good friend who was on the phone with Robin. Um, thank you, Angie. Oh, thank you so much. Woofie, can you put that link in one more time? Please, pretty please. Thank you. Um Thank you, Angie. So, I don't know if you guys saw, but one of the members of Hills on the Ground had been, they filmed in a church, and, you know, there was a lot of stuff happen being said around that. So, they went out to Robin's house to apologize and kind of try to make things right, I guess. Um, thank you, Angie. Um, and they filmed it. So then put it on YouTube of them going to Robin's house. They didn't show the address or anything. I actually saw the video. I think it's been taken down. Well, I know it has. Um, but they did put it on YouTube. If any of you guys saw that, the whole reason I'm bringing this up, it does get mentioned in what we're going to watch. The reason I'm bringing it up is because the person who we're going to watch who called into the Glare show was on the phone with Robin when that happened. And she's going to talk about, you know, her point of view and opinion. And, um, yeah. So, Will, if you guys don't know, and I know most of you do, there's a channel called The Glare. Um, he is a friend of mine, a very a dear friend of mine. And, um, oh, welcome, just me. Um, if you look on the membership tab, there's a bunch of, like, well, I haven't done one for a while, but some behind-the-scenes little vlogs and stuff. 
Um, and I'm going to add some more stuff soon. But um, so Will and I disagree a lot when it comes to cases, but we I like that we have a, a good um, back and forth where maybe, you know, we could learn some things from each other, whatever. Sorry, I hit the mic. Thank you, Slink. Um, I'm feeling mellow yellow. Anyways, I'm just giving this little to explain what's happening in the show and also to tell you guys, um, you know, we are good friends, but we, we disagree on, you know, cases and stuff, whatever. Um, also, a, another YouTuber will be mentioned in this, and she has been on my channel. That's Molly Go Lightly. I did an interview with her. We haven't spoke since. I don't I actually lost a few subscribers when I did that. People were like, if you have her on, I'm leaving, which is fine. Um, just because I interview somebody, I'm not interviewing them for the best friend position. Um, a lot of times we don't ever talk. Sometimes we do. Amber and Kelly and I talk all the time. I mean, if we go a couple days without talking, I notice it. Um, the glare is a friend of mine. So sometimes, but not always, you know, I will say she was very kind to me. I liked her. Um, yes, Cherokee girl. Um, I liked her quite a lot. She was very nice to me. And I will say there's a few people that are in this group that I don't really feel are doing it out of passion. It's more out of like maybe a career choice. And I do think that Molly works off of passion. I think that's why she gets into trouble sometimes. And she, uh, you know, by beating on the doors and whatever. Me too, Rap View. It's ridiculous. I, I can't stand that. I can't stand for someone to tell me to pick a side. I'm friends with people who really dislike each other. Um, and it is what it is. If you're actually a true friend or you like somebody, then you respect them enough to know they, you know, we have different opinions and we just because you don't agree with everything someone does or you don't, you can still be friends. You don't have to, you know, anyways, my point is little disclaimer. They have both been on my channel. You know, I don't have an issue with her. I thought she was a kind person who was very passionate and um, yeah. If you interview Granny, I'm out. Chowder. <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you, but <laughs> it's already happened. <laughs> um, no, I know you know that and you're kidding. That's funny. I know. People are weird. You know, and I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> I think Bentley just walked through here playing some music. Anyways, my whole thing is none of this is personal. What we're going to watch, their opinions are not necessarily my opinions. I have no ill feelings towards these people, you know. Tammy Lou. I think that, I don't know, I guess that's just my opinion. I think after talking to her at... She seemed to actually really care about these cases. And I believe, and this is just me, I think it's easy for, like, I don't know her personally, so this is just, like, from watching. But I feel like she's easily maybe influenced sometimes, not always, because she will stand her ground and stuff. But, you know, she sees people running with a certain narrative, and she starts thinking about it, and it's like, oh, um, you know, Maybe that's it. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. I think that she's not the worst of the worst is all I'm saying. <laughs> My Red Hot Chili Pepper Shop. Oh, yes. And I still haven't found one yet. Um, but I could do another band tea. I'm actually going to do a sale um, of Tadas. And I made these two hats, which I don't know if I like them or not. I'll show you guys after, I guess. 
Yeah, I'm with you, Naomi. That's why I'm covering it because anything that brings new information in this case, we're going to talk about. You know. Kelly searches for an, or equals answers. You know, yeah, I'm with you. I think most people that do, yeah. I think sometimes people get influenced by money and stuff, which sucks. Money is the root of all evil. It is. You have to have it to survive, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, thank you, Mystic. I like you, too. I was just in Spencer's, and they didn't have any red hot chili peppers. Hot Topic might. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Mystic. Their vibe is different than hers, yes. I love logical people. That's why I really like Will and his channel and Granny. Because sometimes I'm not that logical. I'm like em emotional as hell, right? I really am. Uh, now, I won't, I'm not to the point. I'll still, I'm not going to do anything stupid out of emotion most times but i might go off or something but i'm not gonna like commit crimes or anything just because i get worked up or you know what i mean five at a concert you could send one and i could do that i'm over the hate too and i think also everyone has something special to add i don't like when we start like when there's false information. And one of the things that really bothered me with a person I won't name that is part of this crew was as soon as they came on, they were kind of putting regular YouTubers down as, and I don't like that. I think everyone has their role, you know? Um, I do. I think there's room for everybody. I think there's room for all positions. I think there's room for the people who, like Amber, Amber is a mom to a very young baby. She can't be out doing this stuff all the time. I know she would absolutely love to, and maybe she will at some point or whatever, but she's still very smart. She cares very much. She uncovers stuff that other people don't. She notices things other people don't. She adds a really great perspective when it comes to conversation around these cases. So... I know, Yanni. I, I don't like when somebody comes here to tell me that. It's like, well, fine, then you actually probably didn't really like me anyways, if that's going to make you unsubscribe. And when I interviewed her, it was specifically because she had just went to protest. Um, and it was the first time. It was before the second time. Keep the parents talking. Oh, thank you, just me. Even the people I really disagree with, I'm not into the bashing. Um, even people who have hurt me personally, it hurts me to see them bashed. I'm a sensitive person like that. I can cry on a dime. I can get mad like that too, but I try to, you know. Anyways, okay, enough of the disclaimer. Let's get into this. So, the glare was like two hours into his show and someone called in a friend of Robin's. She, Amber is a great mom. She, um, had been watching for a while and she, she watches John crimes too. She was on the phone. Like I said, with Robin, when they came to her house to apologize for the church incident and, um, all of that. Let me see. Yes, Broken Dishes, I'm with you. There are so many things that you can learn from digging through people's social media, their interview. I mean, there's just so much that you can do from home. I be driving around TV. Yeah, kid comes first here. Can't travel well with the one-year-old. Yeah, we love Amber here for sure. Kelly, too. I, I love so many creators. Um, I love hearing her in the background, too. <laughs> I love it too, Jasmine. 
Hey, Louisiana girl. Oh, thank you, Amber. Hey, Kelly. Okay, Wolfie. All right, so pretty interesting. Let me see. I'll pull up the interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm live. The glare. Oh, and something else I will tell you guys. Okay, let's share the screen. Oh, thank you, Johnny. <clears throat> okay, so the glare also did a live today, which we won't watch or anything, but you'll see here in just a second. He did get it. Shut those doors, please. Please shut those doors, Trenton. Hey, hair curlers and crime. Cherokee girl, I don't. I have on my community page a bunch of different ones I've made, some that I still have. And then I have an email for the Tadas, um, which I don't have my banner up. Hold on. I'll put that one up for just a second, then I'll put Summers up. So here is the emails for the tatas but i can kind of do anything custom or some of the things that um i already that i still have that i've posted i need to create like a some kind of place to put them all together and show what's available i'm wanting to do a sale of like some sweatshirts that I haven't sold yet i was selling those for 35 dollars piece i only have like four um left and they're mediums and large but i was thinking about selling those for like 20 bucks with shipping ten dollars to ship them is what it costs and then um you know ten dollars for the shirt my kids <laughs> so oh wait that's the summer one i thought i had a tie one there it is I had to mute because Bentley just does not listen. He's told to be quiet and he just doesn't. So it's rip your heart out and die, D-Y-E at gmail.com. I'm going to try something new. I want to go buy like some regular sweatpants with the drawstring and the, that tighten up around the ankles and reverse dye those and see how it turns out. Um, you guys are getting a backdoor view at my all my banners. Now, see this live, the first one from four hours ago, he got a copyright strike. Oh my God, his intro kills me. It is so freaking funny. Oh my God. The copyright strike didn't go through because YouTube claims it's fair use. So I thought that was interesting. You guys should watch it. We have to watch the, the uh, intro to his channel, and then we'll get to the part where Robin's friend comes out on. The North Carolina Supreme Court should reject corrupt voting maps and put people before politicians. The key to finding the smartest mortgages? NerdWallet's easy-to-read reviews show you all the nitty-gritty details. I'll get Officer Amanda in here for B. Yes. Okay, awesome, Cherokee girl. It's so funny, isn't it, Margo? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, broken dishes. I wonder how they have so much energy. Um, thank you, Amber. Um, I really, really do. Oh, I started the banner the banner after. Wait, that's the end of it. I can't fast forward it. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just too freaking funny every time I see it.
<laughs> oh my god, you guys, tell me that is not so funny. Yeah, it is fire. It is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Amanda. Yes, that was so funny. What that is the glare's intro, Amanda, to his channel. He's got his face on like all these different. <laughs> oh, oh my Lord. Okay, let me get the timestamp. I wrote it down right here. Two o three. 17. I think Danny B is who told me about this. I don't think she's here. Oh, it's Mexi's birthday. Cool. Well, <clears throat> oh, yeah. And her, I think she opened the door to this for me in the first place. I'm not loyal to anyone, to be honest. I'm a gut instinct. So following through to see if I'm right. Dawn is dangerous. I actually thought you... <laughs> <laughs> on like Scarface, Rambo, all these different characters. <laughs> I'm like, can you care if we go through your video? He's like, well, yeah, you can do whatever you want with my videos. And uh, well, we just watched your intro. <laughs> hey, Whoopi. And laughed about it just a bit. That is so funny, just me. I don't guess I saw that, Bobby Pin. It is funny. Creative. Very creative. Okay. So, here, let's go to two hours, three minutes, 17 seconds. So, Amanda, what we're watching is Robin from the church. So, Will was doing a stream watching this what it, i don't even know what it was um where summer wells it was one of betty's videos and he had someone call in who was a friend of robin camera off okay. but i I'm sorry, what's that? wait is that right before Say it again I think y'all can still Idiots. see me. I can't see you or the comments. Also told us that they watch all of our channels. Yeah, and yeah, they watch. Yeah, we know. We know when we're live. Yeah, you know. they watch your channels to keep tabs on you. <laughs> That's why they watch your channels to keep tabs on you. All right. There she yeah, is. I would prefer I, not. I watch them. I enjoy some of it. I want to get the information. I'm just critical because it's important that it's done right and it. It's important to me personally, but to be on camera. I mean, I don't care if you see me, but I would camera off. I would... But I I'm sorry, what's that? Say it again. Keep you, yeah. I could just keep you in the background here, so no. I mean, if that's okay. Yeah. I... What I'll do is, um, I'm not too worried about Paul's in every few seconds because he said that we could do it. But I do want to discuss what she says, and I can't see the chat at the moment. So I think I'll let it go for maybe a minute or two, then depending on like what she says and pause along the way. I can, I, mean, see, I can see you, but nobody else can see you right now. Okay, so I'm totally cool to be transparent with you. I just, with all the stuff going on right now, um, you know, I thought in my face, not be out for these quote unquote people to, you know, try to right. rip me to shreds like they're trying to do to Robin. So. I do actually feel bad for Robin, you guys. Okay, before we get started, I want to do a poll. If you are suspicious of Robin, press one. If you're not, press two. I want to see what you guys think because I have been suspicious of her. Although I feel bad if it, you know, if I don't want to ever blame someone who wasn't involved. Yeah, they just called in um, randomly, Amanda. Great interview. She was amazing. 
wow, that's a lot of twos. So I'm, I'm like half two. I was suspicious, but I'm not as much now. Don told J for J. He hopes God forgives the parents of kids who had taken drugs or forced to take drugs. Hmm. Glad those children had such a woman and mother around. One, 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 one. I'm suspicious of her, but I don't think her child should have been recorded. Me either. And then people are like, well, they film at the church. Yeah. When they're ready for it, they know it's going out and they've planned for it. That's very different than, it, that's just me though. I mean, 1.5. Me too. Two, one. A lot of twos though. I never was, said Bobby Finn. Good, Amanda. I want to hear about that because I've heard, um, and my answer is one again. <laughs> I've heard there is um, some stuff uh, with that particular church in that. Church is a community she brought her kid in. YouTube isn't. Yep, absolutely. And look how they treat, I mean, just because she's simply stuck by Don and Candace and tried to be supportive of them and she's been around a lot, which is weird. I mean, the fact that she was there during her interviews and stuff is still weird to me, like with Chris McDonough. But maybe Candace felt like it was a friend that she trusted that she could have there as a support system versus like any friends at party and that kind of thing. So it kind of makes sense, but it's still weird. Okay. Just wanted to check where we're at. I appreciate yeah, um, so the opportunity just, here. Oh, no, I appreciate you joining me on panel here and, and, and talking with me. Um, so Love let me that. ask you this. Uh, mm -hmm. An obvious question, but I just want to hear your words. Um, okay. So, what what did you think about what happened uh, in the church with uh, Robin and her daughter? Um, I was quite okay. pissed. Um, Were you there at the church that day? No, no. Let me start by saying I am friends with Robin through family connections. Okay. Um, I don't live in Kingsport or Rogersville. I visit, you know, quite often. Um, I have family that live down there. My family, Robin's family, very good friends. Um, but as far as I've never gone to the church. Um, there you are, Bobby Finn. Robin. Oh. He showed her. Uh, hold on. Turn your camera off and I'll bring you back on the stream. There you are, Bobby Finn. There should be an icon. It's there you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, Bobby Pin, thank you so much. Let me see. They are the taking the opportunity of absence of evidence to insert their beliefs as a, as factual evidence. By the way, Will, I love what you're doing. Okay, cool. Thank you, Bobby Pin. I appreciate that. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And what's your name? What do I call you? Yeah, you can call me Moto Mom. Moto Mom. Okay. Moto Mom. Moto Mom. Yeah. Mom. Mom. I can tell you my name later, but I mean, everybody, everybody who knows Robin her daughter, her family are all extremely upset because there's just a lot of truth that's not being told. Um, it's loud. I mean, there's just so much crap that's not being told. And we kind of thought it was going to die down quite a bit until today um, when I had a text message with a link. Welcome, Eddie Jetson. Mm, mm, are we allowed mm, to mm, say mm, that person that was yeah, uh, just screen on your screen um, talking? So, yeah. me, um, so we don't miss anything. Let me just say. Let's not do her name, though. Um, well, I, thank you, Judy. I don't want to share. Um, I already said that, but still, I'm thankful. So thank you again. <laughs> hey, Emily, we just started. We literally just started. We've been running our mouths for a minute. And I, I want to not go too far past um, very soon because support with Stefa is covering the little boy I covered this morning on her channel tonight. I will, sh I will share that link with you guys. I hope that you guys can support her because uh, that's really important. This little boy deserves a movement. He's got no attention and it's a bad, it's bad. Hmm. Okay. Didn't just dox. 
Robin, but you know, showed her home. Um, wow. Towards, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know if you wanted to wait until you got to that part. That's what really pisses me off. That that set. So the on, on the live stream that I'm that I'm showing right now, yes. she she yeah. docks Robin. Listen, she actually took that oh, heifer. I turned it off. And that other person. That I don't want to contribute to that. It wasn't in this. They walked street. down the street, right in front of Robin's house, turned into her driveway, and then yes, they went, knocked on her door, and then uh, left a note. Uh, what they failed to show on that video, I was on the phone with Robin. Um, let me go back a little bit. I was on the phone with Robin because. So I don't know if you guys saw that. I, I did see it. They knocked. No one answered. And they left a note. I think, I'm not sure why they put it on YouTube showing her house. I'm guessing to, you know, kind of calm people down because people were very upset about the church camera incident. And maybe thinking that, you know, they wanted, she wanted to apologize. And I think she wanted to show people that she had apologized. Because she had been getting texts and calls about the video of her daughter. And at the time I'm on the phone with her, there's banging on the door. I could hear the banging on the door. Oh my and it God. put Robin in the position of immediate fear because, you know, she doesn't know who these people are very well, but I mean, how crazy does someone have to be to actually, you know, find out where you live, show up there after a display at the church? Um, that would make me think that you are a little not safe. Um, so I was on the phone with her and I said, take uh, your daughter and go, you know, go to the bathroom and call 911. And that's what she did. So I was on the phone with her for quite a bit. Um, Imagine. I bet she was scared, you know, I don't know. I just, um, I would have been too, especially like with the way that people are chasing down people going to their homes and you know, it's getting, it's getting to be a little too much. Police don't do that stuff. Police don't blackmail for interviews. Police don't say, if you don't talk to me, I'm going to start a mail campaign and mail all have all my viewers mail your boss, write letters to your boss to tell him why you don't deserve that job. There's reasons that, you know, you have the Fifth Amendment. You don't have to speak to them. But they didn't just walk up and, like, ring the doorbell. And, and how was and... her, how, how was Robin handling that? Was she upset? Was she? <clears throat> At the time. I mean, when, obviously um, she was upset. When they were banging she... on the door? Yeah. Is that, are you talking about? Um, how was she, she was scared. How was she reacting to that? She was scared initially, you know. She was, I mean, she was home alone with her daughter, who's very young. Jesus. Um, so after after they filmed her daughter, <laughs> mm -hmm. after they filmed her daughter uh, mm -hmm. in the church, mm -hmm. they took it a step further and showed up to her house. Yes. Mm. Sure did. Wow. Yeah. Um. So the reason and then put that, that on the you video did. came down was not... Um, how do I say this? It wasn't because they just had this change of heart. Um, oh, the right thing to do. Because oh, I know that. It's not what happened. Yeah, I know that. Um, law enforcement, you know, had a conversation with them about, you know, that's not cool. And so I believe, I don't know this to be true, but I kind of, I believe that, um, their panties were in an uproar at that point. Oh my gosh, I might get in some trouble. So they took it down thinking that that would be okay. You know, just kind of like, oh. Oops, I made a little now, mistake. Can you can you confirm whether or not Robin is planning on moving forward with pressing charges? I can't. Okay. I can't. No, yeah, I, I can tell you she's that. not doing nothing. She's not doing nothing. Okay, cool. Mm. <clears throat> Just checking on you guys. Don't like leaving my chat like that. I like to interact with like every comment. <laughs> so when I have to leave it like that, it gives me anxiety. Hey, Mr. Positive. Yeah, Kelly, I don't think it was up that long, but I must have seen it right when it was posted or, you know. How can anyone defend that? Still no excuse. Yeah. All backcountry living, just stay safe. Pointer lover, um, heels on the ground. They went to apologize. 
They are overwhelming people. The girl speaking is just a friend of Robin. She's not involved in any way. She's just kind of standing up for Robin. The next day she was telling people to get over it. Ooh, that is so scary. I would have been so upset. It is scary. It's it's just um, people I, privacy is an important and valued aspect of all of our lives. It should be. People should be entitled to their privacy in their personal lives and stuff. And now, uh, yeah, did I miss a super chat? How scary for that little girl. Her best friend goes missing. And yep. If you lie down with dogs, you're going to get fleas. I'm suspicious of her too. I, I can't help it. But I still, I don't, there's certain things that are just wrong. Hey, Broken Justice. Oh, thank you, Judy Jetson. I so appreciate that. I love your name. <laughs> Judy Jetson. Thank you so much. It was violating. It wasn't right, but I think she should remove herself from the wells. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to this for, you know, and I'll come back in a minute. All right. Good. That's, that's good. That's, I mean, that, and that's, that's Okay. And one thing I will touch on before we go any further. So she says she can't say if she's pressing charges or anything, but she's not doing nothing. She's doing something about it. Doesn't mean it's charges. You know, it could be. A cease and desist or whatever it could be many things but that's all my listeners would want to know honestly for sure um, she's not doing nothing she has a daughter who has been tremendously affected by that heifer and her friends going to the church coming to their home screaming outside of random places they were also well, down by where robin works can you so, say how her daughter has been affected she's a mess she's a mess she, I don't, I'm not going to say her name or anything like that. No, I'm tell please you this. don't. Please don't. Go with me on this for a second, okay? I'm her daughter and Summer <laughs> are very close to the same age. Right. Um, they went to the same church. They were right. They were friends. Yeah, Robin, Robin is Summer's Sunday school teacher, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, Sabbath. Sabbath school, Sunday school. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, just different days. Right, the Sabbath yes. school thing. Right, 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 right. Yes. Robin loves summer. You know, I, I don't really want to, you know, the last time that Robin came forward and spoke out about, you know, her relationship and with Robin summer. Robin just seems like a really beautiful soul, you know? She like every is. time, Every time I've seen her on an interview, you know, mm -hmm. she's got this radiant smile and she says nothing but positive things about. Absolutely will. But it is kind of weird when you're smiling and happy about packing treats to go search for summer. Now, like I said in the beginning, I do believe she's probably just awkward. Um, will had it in his intro, and it's true, Occam's razor. Uh, you know, the simplest answer is usually it, basically. Um, can the big conspiracies and stuff most likely are not going to be what actually happened. I'm sure it would be very hard to receive so much criticism over just regular, you know, an interview just because we know, and we do it here on this channel, but let me, we pick apart little things. We're talking about the way they speak, the way they act. I mean, the one thing, though, and I know that none of the people that are in these in my chat are the kind of people that would actually go real life, go to their house, go to their church, you know, um, do anything to try to hurt them. We're kind of this is a true crime discussion place. If you are going to be offended by discussing all possibilities, don't come. OK, but I, I'm sure that would be hard. You know, I mean, you don't ask to be put in a situation like this. So the Wells family and summer, you know, and, and that's mm -hmm. really kind of her to do that. You know what I mean? Like it, it, yes. she's, she, she, you could tell she's trying to consciously set an example <laughs> for how we should be behaving towards this family right now. Absolutely. And, you know, let me, let me start off by saying that Robin um, 
has had really nothing to do with um, YouTube. You know, she had Facebook and things like that that she's had to take down because of all of this stuff. Um, wow, she had I to have, take it down. You know, I have kind of always, you know, watched YouTube videos whenever I would be at work. I would be, my job, I would be gone for a couple of days at a time and traveling oh, and things like mom. that. And um, I can't, you know, keep up with the news and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, Robin is as sweet as she comes off. One thing, the reason, you know, you won't see her come forward until she really trusts somebody, especially after this mess. But as, you know, as a general, generally speaking, um, you know, Robin has seen the things that have been said about her. Um, you know, does she giggle sure a little bit hurtful. whenever she gets nervous? She definitely does. She lives in a really small town. A lot of people do that. Yeah, a lot of people she's do that. married. You know, she's not flashy. She's not out and about. She's going to go to a big city. So when the cameras come to her and they're asking her hard questions, it's Wait, her nature, that's I guess. That's confusing, our Moto Strong Mom, or Moto Mom. She Does she giggle a lot in interviews? Well, here we are picking apart this one. So, And don't take it too serious, but does she giggle a lot in interviews? Yeah, but she's from a really small town. I don't I didn't connect those dots. Has to giggle and people tore her apart for that. But you know, Robin has never spoke ill about a single person. She's never had an ugly comment about a single person. I have never heard her say anything. She's just truly that kind. And she was ripped to shreds for showing kindness to a family before and after their daughter came up missing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's oh. ridiculous. That that infuriates me actually. That's sad. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to watch. That's why I kind of had had my fill with these people and what they're doing because they're so focused on creating chaos, being front and center, telling lies, not being honest. And at the end of the day, there's so many things that they say that are just not true. When they walked in the church that day, everybody knew who they were. They didn't, you know, people didn't know Olivia, but they. Very interesting, right? When they walked in the church, everyone knew who they were. I wondered about that. They knew. They knew that Molly Go Lightly. They knew who she was. was. Yeah. Did, was Robin aware of of? She saw Molly her Go the Lightly's... minute she walked in. Okay, so when she sat next to her daughter, so mm -hmm. that's how I look. That's how I saw it because I saw the video. I actually watched it while I was live here. <laughs> I didn't show it, but I watched yeah. it while I was on a live stream. And the reaction that I got or the 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 impression I got was that Robin's mm -hmm. choice and how to deal with it was to pray. Robin's yeah, in in a sense, yes. I mean she didn't get confrontational um, in the slightest. Not bit. at all. You know, not at all. you could see uh, that her yeah, daughter no. was uncomfortable. You could clearly see Absolutely. that her daughter was uncomfortable. And Absolutely. So so she was so Molly Go Lightly was was consciously abusing this child. Con consciously, Real. she knew what she was doing. Oh, absolutely. She here's the thing: we don't people don't hide things that are good; they hide things that are bad. Like right. if you have, if you have a see, you guys, I saw the video at the house. I saw the video in the church, but not closely. Um, I think I may have watched it like when I was in bed or something because I don't have clear memory of it. Was she aware that she was filming the child? Um, <laughs> Will, I've said so many nice things about you. Don't charge me. Come on. <laughs> I love you. I love that you got this interview. It's actually really, really, really awesome. She did say that you're right. She said she was curious if they come for donations the first time. I thought that was a really honest thing to say, actually. Um, let me see what this YouTube true crimers should be concerned about the safety of all children. Showing Robin's daughter unforgivable also because any five-year-old does not need attention focused on her or him. Perverts are everywhere. Thank you, Broken Dishes. Thank you for the comment and thank you for the super chat. And you're right because look, if someone did abduct Summer, it could happen to her baby too. It could happen to anybody's baby. I mean, you 
when you're when you put your own child out in the world that's your right but you don't have the right to do it you know to other people i still believe it was someone who had access to some of my gut told me that i have zero evidence to back it i just can't shake a church member or someone else with access being involved oh okay i see what you're saying like somebody who knew her knew them already <clears throat> Thank you again, Broken Dishes. They Now, they said it was a pin camera, but then I heard that it wasn't. That wasn't what they used. Maybe Betty said that in a video, or somebody had said that. <laughs> fair use. <laughs> yeah, fair use, Will. How'd that work out? We were just talking about your video today. I didn't play that one, but it's pretty interesting that, you know, you were watching their videos with fair use. You don't buy spy pins and activate them where then they were aware of what they were doing. Okay, because see, I believe it was Betty who said that um, they didn't use the spy pins. Molly used her phone or something like that. Yes, exactly, Mr. Positive. Uh, just me, I believe she's like maybe a little bit younger than Summer, very close, so maybe four or five. I don't know. Yes. I, that's my thing, Gypsy Lou. I was thinking about that when I was getting in the shower today. If I was to re like record, like say I went into a store and had my phone recording, but wasn't telling anyone, there's no way I would post it without blurring their faces. I mean, I don't under, I don't know. It just take a second to do, and it's respectful. It protects, especially a child. I mean, but I'm talking about adults. Oh my God, Chrissy. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I wish, it... well, I don't want to see it just because I don't want it. her daughter, you know, I'm glad it's off YouTube, but not a fan. The ones who went to Tennessee and Delacraft, they did awareness is good, but y'all know what I mean. Hey, Amanda C. Molly said in one of her videos, her excuse for showing the kid is because she was using the pen and can't or didn't know how to aim properly. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Positive. Hey, Tia. Oh, my God. Guess what, Tia? I was thinking of you today. I used, I got the um, ABH dip brow, and I used it for the first time. To, well, not today. The first time, like, on camera today. But, um... I used it like two days ago, but yeah, I love it. It's really good. And the brush is so perfectly like there. I, I was able to do, cause I really like to do like hair, like strokes in the front and it works really good. I loved it. And I thought of you when I did, there was a sign before entering the church that said, don't record. They knew it. And it was in one of their videos. Mm. I don't like that. Yeah, that is that. That is. I listened to your live. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Tia, my live from this morning is actually something you should look into. I want other creators to, um, and Amber and Kelly too, um, to help me because I think this little boy deserves so much attention. I hit my mic again. He's not getting hardly any, even locals have hardly heard of this horrific story but okay let's keep up with this and then we'll get back we'll talk about that in a little bit it's the uh, and the abh anastasia anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade did i turn my camera off no a bad quality or um yeah, i used to work um with uh, I don't want to say that. Um, you record my kids I mean, you just don't like walk down safe without cameras, and you post it on the on the internet. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure you don't ever do that again. And that's just my own kids. You know, any kid, it's wrong, but that's just how I feel about what I'm in control of. There is absolutely no way in hell I'm letting that shit go. Downstairs and tell your darkest secrets or the things that you're the most shameful to your entire family, you hide those, right? Those people did not walk in the church that day. 
like they did Walmart before that. Like they went down to all the stores downtown Kingsport and they went everywhere else. They had their cameras out. They had their phones out. They didn't care who saw them. But when they went into the church, they did not have phones out. They did not have cameras out. They had spy pens. So they knew what they were doing and they hid it because they knew that it was wrong because you're not going to hide something that's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Exactly. Right? exactly. Okay. And that's what they did. And on top of that, I mean, I don't know how many stories that I personally have heard. Um, I mean, like calling her Molly Golightly. I have all kinds of different names for her, but I've heard different stories that she has told and not one of them is true. Robin's daughter would never under any circumstances touch another woman or man or anybody else's handbag or bag of items or wallet or anything of the sort. She would definitely smile and say, hi, nice to meet you. Something along those lines, but never would she even sit close enough to a stranger to be able to touch, you know, her purse. That was a lie. Flat out lie. So, on top so on of that top of harassing this child, Molly go lightly. I wasn't aware of this. She accused mm -hmm. this little girl of trying to take something from her purse. No, that. So I heard of, I watched the video. Unbelievable. Well, just to clear that up, she, she did. And I think I saw this and she said, you know, she was really cute and she liked my bag. She was looking at my clothes, my outfit, like something like that. Like basically saying that she was interested in like the shiny, pretty stuff. What, you know, for lack of a better phrase. Okay, Emily. I hope we are too. So we get to chat with you. So, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if she watched it. We'll finish watching. I got my sis that and she loves it. Yeah, I like it too. It's really good. Finding summer is the goal. Yep. hundred percent. Oh, yay, Tia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And support with Stephanie's doing a video tonight. And we're, I think it just started. I'm going to go over there when I'm done and stuff. And if you guys when were done, go over, even if she's done, and leave her a comment. Um, oh, thank you, Amanda C. Thank you so much. Will you keep it up with me, girl? Because we're in this together. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was a little boy in the... He's from Chicago, and um, his mom tortured him, and she did. Yeah, she said the little girl was touching her purse, but the way I took it anyways, and maybe she meant it differently. This is just my perception of it, was that, you know, she thought it was, like, pretty. Um, not that she was, like, trying to steal from the purse, but I did hear her say that. Okay. Yes, I watched a video where she tried to validate and justify her ridiculous actions by I saying that she, she sat down and that she said hello to the little girl and that um, I'm, I'm going to call her Jay because I don't want to overthink and accidentally sure. say her name. So I'm going to call her Jay. So she said that, um, yeah, that Jay sat closer to her and that she had some, you know, she's always got to be flashy. She had a flashy handbag and that Jay touched. That would never happen. That would never happen. That little girl is the sweetest, kindest, very shy little girl. She isn't, you know, she's going to talk to people that she doesn't know. And no, you my know what? Nana babysits for her. A lot of kids so are when I tell scared you, of... She's the sweetest, strangers. kindest little girl. They go through phases. Sometimes they'll want to talk to strangers, but it seems like after they're like three, four, they're like eh, scared of strangers a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know. Some kids, like Summer, we saw her. She was very um, running around with everybody, which they weren't strangers, but they hadn't been in that church that long. But I think that she was really wanting some attention very badly. But I, I'm like my kids, they 
sometimes I can't even get them to answer a question that a stranger asks. Like if we're in the store and an, old, an older lady is like, hey, little boy, here's a piece of candy. What's your name? They'll be like, Bentley. Like <laughs> barely say it under their breath, you know? I mean that. And so please, I people believe it. don't. I believe it. Don't, um, don't turn Robin anything that I'm saying like a into very, a connection. Robin seems sorry, like a very ahead. kind soul who's a very engaged parent. So I would imagine someone like Robin raising and having the offspring of someone like her. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I would imagine that this, that there's a lot of, a, a lot of effort put into uh, this child uh, and being loved. And I can't imagine. Yeah. So, so Molly go lightly, her, her justification for filming her was because she was trying to film her stealing from her purse. Now she didn't say stealing. No, she didn't say stealing. She said that Jay was playing Hold with on her one purse. Second, you guys. Just one second. Okay, the kids are like banging on something right over my head, and I have no idea what it is, but. Oh, hey, the pink Dahlia. Why would a child admire a purse? Oh, we love you too, pink. I don't believe Robin's da daughter touched Molly's purse, not even in admiring it. I don't think touching something has anything to do with being sweet or not. But not if you're in a church. I think Molly Golady deserves a big lawsuit from the Wells. She wasn't trying to take anything, and Molly didn't say that. Thank you, Juicy Jewels. I'm starting to get better, but I'm still a little um, congested like in the head. I don't know. I guess I just took something different from her video. She acted like a snobby snob saying she liked it because it was shiny. Yes, that's what I thought. We can buy fake purses in Tennessee and real ones. Yeah. Hello, you can get, you know, the most expensive things anywhere. It's a different day and age now. Like maybe back in the 90s, 80s, before the internet, rural places were kind of behind with fashion and music and things like that. I was just talking about this the other day. Um, with some friends of mine, but now we hear and see everything instantaneously. Yep, me too, Yanny. Strangers scary to most country folk. <laughs> my friend's little girl loves my purse and always touches it. Maybe because I gave her snakes out of it. Okay. I didn't listen to all this. I yeah. listened to about 10, 15 minutes. Don't know how long it lasts. I thought we could finish it together. So, Yeah, I don't believe like that at all. I don't believe that at all. Yeah. I mean, no. that doesn't make sense. Um, like, Robin was on stage singing, but Robin's husband was in the church. Okay. So oh. he was close enough to touch Jay. So there's no question about what Jay did or did not do. Because although uh, Robin was singing and her husband was not sitting right next to Jay. He was sitting close enough to touch Jay. Mm, okay. So that the whole story that she told was just, Are you like, don't be a liar. No. Don't be a liar. If you're going to go to another town and scream and carry on like a raging lunatic and you, I mean, listen, I'm appalled. I'm going to be frank. I'm quite pissed off when I find out the people that are down there raising hell on behalf of Summer Wells. I mm. don't, I've never met Summer. I've never met her parents. Can you, um, now you, you do go to that town often and visit. Um, I've been, I've been there. Okay. Yes. Can, can, can you actually attest <clears throat> to what the, the general consensus is around there as far as 
um, uh, what happened to Summer and and, Summer and, and and good question because we see, you know, other people that have been there that kind of say the whole town thinks they did it. The whole t everybody, the neighbors, you know, the friends, everybody. and how they feel about Summer's parents. Um, if I could answer that, I would. I mean, I would be frankly honest with you about it. Right. Um, I I haven't. It's not something. So. One thing that this case has done is destroyed any kind of transparency or communication between family and friends and people that are influencers of any type. You know what I mean? If you have any type of platform, I feel like I feel like I can say this because I, you know, I'm part of a bereavement group. I'm part of a child loss group. I lost my son. Oh, and so it, I'm sorry to hear you. that. So the time that my son passed away. I would have been more than happy to talk about him to anybody that was, you know, willing to listen. I would never do that today because no matter what you say, you're going to get ripped apart. So when I, when I go to visit my Nana, that's true too. And extent. I may have a conversation people are about very like, critical. People are very judgmental. People see things and think that they know all about it without actually really even seeing it in person. And even us, we're being critical of these things. But not always. We've seen other families who have had missing loved ones and things like that who maybe aren't as suspicious and um, are more average because I think that these people stand out to a lot of people who aren't used to seeing, you know, country living, right? Um, and we have seen families be treated with you know, kindness and stuff. I still think it's very important to always be careful of who you're talking to, um, especially as far as YouTubers go, even the news, you know, and um, it's, a, it's a good thing for even subscribers to keep in mind. Be very careful and cautious of who you trust online. People can be anyone they want to be on the internet, you know. Local news or, you know, any search teams that are down there or you know, um, taking flyers somewhere or something like that. But I'm not going to ask anybody any, you know, anything about their beliefs or their opinions. Um, and people down there are not just going to, you know, stand on the corner and kind of have a conversation about it. Um, people are appalled by, so I'll say it like this, that old Southern hospitality kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, they would, if they don't like a specific family or person, they're just going to avoid them. And if right. the opportunity comes that they're face to face, they're going to smile and say, I'm really sorry for what you're going through and go on about their day. They're not going to, you know, stand on the corner and scream. And I mean, they just really showed out. I wish I would have been down there when they were showing out. That's just absolutely ridiculous. And then because Robin won't talk, or answer questions that you think you're entitled to know the answers to. Who the hell are you? You're nobody. You're all felons. You yeah. all, you know, they've all got yeah, that's, their own. That's the whole reason I didn't go confront Whoa. them. I was all fired up to do it. Moto and mom's been watching. But I know for you a fact that I would have been on the way. Yeah, I mean, but I would have been the one that ended up in handcuffs, and they would be on their YouTube channels playing victim. That's what would have happened. That's what would have happened. There's no doubt in my mind about it. So that's why I chose not to. Yeah, I, I get it. Smart I'm really choice, hoping though. that people are seeing exactly what's happening right now. I mean, like I said, 2016, more more my son passed are. away. Hey, more Granny. More um, it's so... So this is a friend of Robin's. Hold on one second. Hold on. These kids, I don't. can y'all hear that? Is it loud? Because it's super loud for me. Hold on. Lord have mercy. Okay. So this is a friend of Robin's who has been watching and was actually on the phone with Robin when Hills on the Ground showed up at her house. They showed up there to apologize for um, the church incident. We can't hear the kids. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. No, that's okay, Granny. Um, so she's a friend who's been 
watching and kind of giving her opinion. She was on the phone with Robin because I don't know if you know, but they did come by her house, wrote a note, left it outside. They put that on YouTube as well. Um, and she's very upset about it. She said that Robin was really scared when it all happened. And um, yeah. The other day, Amanda, what you're talking about is when this, when this was demanded, just one break for just a second, just to mix it up a little bit so it doesn't get too monotonous. Where is that at? There, those are backgrounds. Here we go. Got to look up builders, look in, up the area, builders you know, in the I'm area. As you know, I'm going to be going, rolling email, out a or mail campaign, email or mail uh, campaign to the builders in the area uh, to the builders Tucker, in the area about uh, Tucker. If Tucker, um, if Tucker to employ continues to want to employ Don uh, Wells, I will be doing that. Uh, I will be, be doing that, and I will be executing that strategy if Don Wells wants to hide Duck Bob and weed me again. I want him. I want him to change my mind. I want to hear from Candace. We had a lot of questions. So, that was her threat. Oh, it was echoing. Um, that was her threat that she was going to do a mail campaign and send a ton of letters with her subscribers to Don's job to his boss if he doesn't, if Don and Candace don't talk to her. She wants Candace to change her mind. That's what she said. She was hanging up on that hill with Don and Candace, but she was scared at church. Good point, Delena. Very good point. Front row. Um, I don't know why it echoes when I try to play those clips. Like, let's see if it does it like this. When I move the mic back from the laptop. Gotta look up, gotta the look up some builders. And and Is that echoing? Gotta look up, gotta builders look up the the builders in the know, area. As you know, I'm going to be out rolling out a email or email mail campaign, or mail campaign uh, to the builders, uh, to the builders in, the in the area about Tucker. About Tucker. Um, if Tucker, um, if Tucker continues, continues, to want to continues to want to employ Don Wells, employ Don Wells uh, I will be doing, uh, I will that, be doing and I will that and I will be executing that strategy if Don Wells. My mic was muted. I'm not sure. It's only when I play videos from here, like where you save them to StreamYard, instead of like screen sharing. I don't know why it's doing that. Well, sorry, you guys. But anyways, um, it's worse, still echoing, bad echo. Wow. What in the hell? I mean, to say, what, what did you say, Pink Doll? Yeah, I missed it, I think. Or maybe he owes her nothing. No. And like, yeah, they. who are they? Why do you get to show up six months in, put down everyone who's worked on this or looked into it or cares about it, and then demand the, and put down the family, call them murderers, ask them if they've, you know, how they've done it, been very graphic, asking about where she's buried and different things like that, and then you're going to demand, huh? Like, you can't be serious. You know they're not going to talk to you, right? If you're not kind to people and fair and giving them the opportunity to actually speak, they're never going to talk to you. I don't know. Oh, okay, Bobby Penn. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just get really frustrated. Y'all, I'm suspicious of Don and Candace. Actually, if you see, she has put down so many YouTubers. And it's like, do you understand the work and creativity it takes to do like a documentary like you do, Amber? I mean, you understand, but does she? Oh, thank you, Judy Jetson. Thank you so much. Does she understand that? And you know what? I'm very suspicious of the parents. I've said that a million times. I put out a video today. I posted it like yesterday, tried to wait for it to be reviewed, but it never got reviewed. So I just posted it today. So in the video, they're going through um, Crime Stories Obsessed is going through her conversation with Grandis. Grandis very quickly throws Don under the bus, says she's starting to think he's involved. His actions are going to get him locked up forever. And But all I know is you know, me and Candace don't know anything. Candace doesn't know anything. It's almost like she's like, don't look over here. Look over here, you know. And I don't know. I love Judy Jetson's name, too. Very cute. Group thinks they can put heat on Wells. We'll crack. 
No one bringing attention to a missing child on their platform should be put down. Absolutely. And shouldn't we be happy when people share the information we find and share, you know, the, I don't know, which you, we've talked about that privately before, Amber. And you said you've never really seen any, you know, seen that before. Usually a lot of people want you to share um, the info they found, their videos or whatever. I don't know. Let's watch another minute of this. See what. It's so terrible. I mean, if you don't want to think about the adults, okay. If you don't like Robin, I mean, I can't speak on behalf of the Wells family because I don't know them. I personally am not a detective. I don't, I'm not a body language expert, but I can tell you this. <clears throat> Half the people probably watching this right now, if they would have walked into the funeral home when my son was having his ceremony and they would have saw me the first half of the day or the second half of the day, they probably would have had an opinion. You know what I mean? Right. Nobody knows how they're going to react. Nobody knows. Right. My son was a person. I, I, I say that all the time. I had cameras. And it's being minimized. <laughs> it's being minimized as a, as a cliche, right? It's being minimized. 100%. Right? It's being minimized. One hundred percent. That by by creators like them, that everyone that grieves in their own way. Now, absolutely. Is it said a lot? Sure. But the reason why it's said a lot, and the reason why it's kind of a cliche, is because it's true. So because there's truth to it. Totally agree. So, you know, there are people who. Because people who beat themselves like up they be because crying, they feel like they should be crying, but for some they're, reason they're not. You know, every, there are people, yeah. you know, that everyone. Has, and sometimes your emotions don't hit you out at the beginning. You don't. It doesn't feel real, you know. And and then the the tears come later. We never know how we're going to react in a situation we've never been in. You know, I do know though what we can we can see what most people do in a situation and kind of look at it that way. But it does, it's not a science. It's not going to be like 100% accurate or accurate at all. It's just an opinion or part of a conversation, like a discussion. That's what I love to do with, with you guys. I love to have this discussion back and forth, weighing out the options. Is it this or is it that? Or, you know, I think it's this way. And you push back on me and say, no, it's, I think it's that way. Like, um, but we truly don't know unless we've been there and you never think these things will happen to you. I've said this before, but it's just like when a loved one gets cancer, you're not expecting that. You don't, you don't, you see it happen to other people, but you don't ever think like that's going to happen to me. I'm going to go for my checkup and they're going to say I have a tumor, you know, as their own way of dealing with grief. Mm -hmm. um, that is a fact. That is a fact, sure. and we are nobody to judge them for how they Absolutely. choose to grieve. Let me, let me add something to this too, sir, if I can. Can you imagine, can you imagine, just for one second, just for one second can you imagine being the person whose child comes up missing? Okay, let's take off the table guilt or not guilt, because it's kind of irrelevant. Your child is gone and you have taken so much criticism and hate from people who don't know you, who never will know you. They're, you blinked too much or something like that, you know? But can you imagine how much hate they have had to take in order to sit, you know, five feet from these people that are screaming things at them like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry your, your baby died and not react to that. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm talking a whole other level, I mean, yeah. other level I, of crazy because if somebody said that to me, Robin, they wouldn't be seeing that I'm not Robin. I'm actually I'm really that. impressed that Candace kept her cool at the job site when they were yelling those things to her because let's say it was an accident or something and maybe she wasn't honest about it, but she didn't do anything. Re you know, she's got to be hurting even if she snapped. And let's say she did do something and it was her. She's got to be in pain right now. You know, she's got to be hurting. And hearing somebody come at her and say, where'd you bury her? And, you know, that just, that hurts my heart. It really, really does. I 100% agree, Kelly. Whether it was abduction, accident, or even anger, firsthand anger, 
their addictions and their lifestyles 100% played a part because they were negligent and they weren't paying as much attention as, you know, maybe they should have been. Let me see if I have that photo. I might have deleted it, but... Yeah. Oh, I do have this. This is interesting, though, and I have not brought this up with you guys at all. Where And I saved it from somebody, like... Please show. Amber, that's who it was. Yes. From somebody's YouTube. This was really interesting, and I have not really seen it talked about besides this post. That bothers me, too, pointer lover. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jordan. Jordan, one of Robin's friends called into a friend of mine's live stream and um, <clears throat> basically just gave her opinion on heels on the ground and talked about, you know, the things that happened while they were there. Is there anyone here that thinks that no one on that hill knows what happened to Summer? If you think that no one on that hill knows what happened, please put any number in the chat. And if you think somebody knows, don't put anything. I think somebody knows. That's just me. Okay, so never forget on June 16th on social media, after the news spread of Summer's disappearance, Candace, this is what she said about it. You all at Warriors? No, at Fort Henry Dam. Why did she say that when we know they were at Warriors? Somebody knows. <laughs> we'll see. Wow. Nobody thinks that nobody knows? I believe someone knows. Ooh, girl, relax, Jordan. That sounds fun. I haven't had a bath in like maybe a year. I mean, I shower every day, but <laughs> I never take baths. I flip-flop on that. Girl, I flip-flop day to day. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> what bothers me is that if they honestly believe they're violent enough to hurt Summer and they're applying pressure, someone is going to get hurt. Yeah, a pressure campaign. And they said on Betty's Live, Olivia said, when we were protesting um, at the laundry house, it worked. They came out. They came out in their outfits that they did the interview in. They were probably trying to get rid of you. I'm sure they had decided to talk to Good Morning America. Isn't that who they did it with? Um, way before that. Definitely awesome. I believe they all know. The dam is close, but not that close, too. So that's weird. Is it in the same body of water? Is that dam in the same body of water? Or, or what? And then... Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. I need to look at a map and look, check that out. Maybe by that point they were. I don't know. I believe they all know. Mm. Those texts with Grandma just really confused me. So they were like, what, Woofie, 10 minutes from the house. Yeah, I'd love to have a picture. They were like, t but I, I don't know if I can put it up here because I don't have my phone. They were like 10 minutes from the house. Um, when that accidental picture was taken, but Grandma says in the text it took an hour and a half to get home after that picture. And she's very quick to tell a stranger on the internet that she's starting to think Dawn was involved. Oh, okay, so Chrissy. Um, when Gabby Petito was missing... Her boyfriend's family was not cooperative, and they weren't cooperative in finding him either, and he was the main suspect. He came back in her van. I don't know. I'm sure you know about that, but just in case you don't. And they were down there protesting. Hills on the ground, eight miles from the house. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, yes, Nikki, thank you. So they were out there protesting, trying to get you know them to cooperate, and eventually... The sister did speak out. 
she came out to them where they were protesting and was basically angry, like, what? And she was dressed in, like, fancy clothes that she, fancy clothes, like a pretty dress, and her husband was in, like, dress clothes, and they were, um, they did an interview with Good Morning America in those outfits. So my assumption is they already had the interview set up and wanted the protesters the hell out of their house before the crew came. People, there are people in the community who are afraid to speak out for fear of families and themselves. Mm. Me too, Mark. I'm just hopeful that they've got way more than, and, and they said they do. I'm not sure, Tricia. That's a really good question, though. I would love to know what's on the front of that jacket. What was she in when she went missing? I think it was like a pink T-shirt and black pants and barefoot. Or do you guys, I know you guys remember. So was it this jacket she had on must still be there? Oh, he's saying hi to insanely confused Amanda. <laughs> And there, there's very weird talk that Don's given about the mafia, the mob, uh, and that's that's concerning too. And we have the fifty thousand dollar talk. <laughs> Even if they are responsible, who do these people think they are? A hundred percent agree with you. They are not the police. They have no fucking clue what evidence the police have that they haven't put out yet. There's tons of digital evidence that we know about. And <laughs> it's okay, Mark. And there's 90% there's of the evidence that they had a couple months ago the public didn't have. I don't know, Jamar, Jamar, Joe Marie. Sorry about that. Insanely confused. That's so, so funny. I always love your name, but it's just funny when people in chat are like, why are you confused <laughs> when someone says hello to you? I don't know how much longer this goes, but I really wanted to see one thing with you. Yeah, I mean, the, agreed. Agreed. Now, the fact that Don okay, do stayed as calm as he did. Yeah, right? there's no way. You're, you're trying, to, not make, you're any trying credit to make for him that. out to be this violent, crazy person, right? But and maybe he is. I don't I know. If well, but if you're <clears throat> trying know. to convince me of that fact, and then you go right. and, or, and I'm not saying it's a fact. I'm saying if you're trying to convince right, right. me of that idea, then and you go to his job and scream, "What, what did you do Don, to I'm your baby? Phone call. Tell us Absolutely. what you did to your baby through a bullhorn." And you stay calm. Today. I'm sorry. Hold up, y'all. We got to see what this is. This is a new video uploaded today, an hour ago. Oh, my God, it's already taken down. Well, hmm. Hold on, one more thing. It's a couple things. Let's go to, and, and then I'm going to go so that I can go to Stephanie's if she's still alive. Or if she's not, I'm going to share her video, and I hope that you guys will go support her because like I said, that case needs so much more attention. It's getting none. Just seeing if there's anything new on here. Now let's check out their YouTube. Felicity is attacked into a seizure. Oh, okay. Wow, she does some good videos. I didn't know her name, though. I'm not gonna watch any more of that. Thank you, Will, for letting us watch your um your your thing. This is a video on Don Wells Family Channel. On his nose. Oh my God. 
They sold her for drugs. Please do not feed it. This is sad. Rumors make us cash. Oh my god. That is just sad, y'all. I can't help it, but. This is so sad because we don't know for sure. The milk crops are up. <gasps> I've not seen this, y'all. Stop. Give me five minutes. This is so sad, you guys. Wow. Y'all go in there, I'm almost done. Oh, you guys. Wow. Okay. Why is that gun so big? There we go. Okay. Turn that off for a minute. Just talk to you before I go. Um, I hear Robin at the end, though. This breaks my soul into pieces. Innocent until proven guilty. There's been a witch hunt incited on this family. Until we know, all we can do is discuss this like adults and pray. Oh, thank you again, Judy. Thank you so much. Wow, that's really sad, you guys. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, that was sad. Um, let me see. <laughs> Mark Klein loves it. <laughs> me too, Nikki. I hope and pray. My, you know, agree, Christina. My opinion changes a lot. I bet you AF Pennington, which is the girl who um, does some of their videos and that they were talking about. If you go to their family channel, you can see um, it, it was creepy music. I know it's weird. I was shocked when I saw some of the theories too. So she does a great job on the videos she has done. And I would bet maybe her or maybe it was their social media. I'm not sure. It is weird that they put some of the like theories up there or whatever, but Bentley, while we were watching that, come and told me that he made Trenton bleed. So it was dark. Yeah. This whole situation is dark, though, you guys. It is. You know, seven months yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was. And still no answers. And we have this baby girl, you know, God knows where. And regardless of what the parents did, as far as her going missing, they were not doing what people with kids that age should be doing should, you know, and, um, we see that. And I think, you know, they probably, reg I'm, I'm ho I hope that they regret it now. I just wish that she would have had a better life. And I hope that whoever did do this, because like I said in my video with the text, if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Grandma was the only person who was there during both of the people who've been missing in the family. Don and Candace actually were not living in Wisconsin anymore. Doesn't mean that they couldn't have been there. But I'm curious with, about some of her behavior, too. I've been really actually suspicious of everyone, including Robin. Um, 
David Dotson at one point, Don and Candace, Grandma. I always go back to Don and Candace or Grandma, though. I don't really, at this time, have, like, Don as part of it in any of my, like, working theories, I'm thinking. But maybe he knew of an accident or something. I haven't ruled that out to myself. What do you guys think? I'm curious. Do you, does anybody have a set theory that they, they're working with? The pictures of poor Summer. Beats doesn't start that when it's account, social service reports, pictures, her teeth. Her teeth, oh my God. Her bedroom. Her bedroom, y'all. Ted Bundy passed several. Yep. It's a known thing. In, in the drug world, people talk about it. Uh, this is a picture that hurts my heart, though. People talk about how easy it is. Or no, that's not the one. I'm talking, I was looking for the one with her with Candace, and they put like, worst mother ever. Um, but it, it's a known fact. All you have to do is, oops, sorry, um, take Xanaxes, and you can pass a drug test or any kind of benzo, Valium, Klonopin. I was looking for something with Summer to show you, but. And I go back to that photo, and I hear people saying about her nails and things like that, but I want to say, I know for a fact, the photo and the video are on two different filters. The photos that are, go are mo the ones that are spread the most. So who knows how many different filters and things that have been used on some of these videos. Um, yeah. And if you know something and you're scared, you don't have to even say who you are. All you have to do is call that number on the banner, 1-800-TBI-FIND, and leave an anonymous report. Um, give them the information that they need. Maybe to you, it doesn't feel like it's that big of a thing, like a make or break in the case, but it could be. Yeah, broke or busted his nose with his foot so I have to go check on him he come down here and I just seen him he's he looks fine and he's it's not like pouring blood but he had a tissue on it and it's, it was bleeding head butted him I, what did I say at first Bentley said he kicked him but so they do Jordan but it's not actually like an entertainment manager like to help get him gigs and stuff like as in some youtubers have managers they um have people that help get them deals, help get them sponsorships, help get them um, different trips and just all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, they're the people that are managing them. This is provided through the police department, which would be provided to anyone who was in their same position. I do know that Cher played a call from a YouTuber that showed, um, the YouTuber calling the police and asking them, is this normal? You know, the manager and the, what was the other thing? There's like a couple people. And the police said, yeah, it is. But um, they basically said, they're not taking any of our advice anyway. So the police are also, some of them feeling some type of way. Agree, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all those channels, Wolfie, so, so much. Honestly, think it was an accident spiraled. Who was it? Oh, Crime Stories is Obsessed. If you guys go to the, her community page, she was sharing um, text between Hunter and Candace. And there was one where Candace is like, yo, and Hunter's like, come see me. And she's like, okay, is grandma home? The way they were talking to each other is just not that of like my friend's kid. They're talking like they're talking. Maybe grandma too, kind of sprinkles. Being a grandmother, can't get over the actions of that grandmother. And like I say this in my little video I was talking about, but my friend who's met her, you know, talks about the energy, like how dark and just, you know, how it felt with her. Very easy to pass. But I guess I'm going to go, you guys. I want to go see if Stephanie's still alive. I'm torn on what I think happened. 
um, the blood on the tummy. I don't like that either. I do not believe she covered it up herself. My feelings have never changed. Wow. Okay, let's look at that picture real quick before we go. I zoomed in. It's, but it's not that clear zoomed in. So let's So I know people have talked about the stain where the belt is. I want you guys to look at that and look right directly above it on the bottom edge of that belt. Does it look like there's something on the belt too? Or is that just me? Because I've heard that a couple places now and I looked and I, I kind of think it does. This is the thing people are getting so upset about with the Heels ladies and the other YouTubers that they are t taking up for Don and Candace dismissing all of the tech abuse and negligence. They're all wrong. Yeah, and <clears throat> come on now. They were, in my opinion, you can, it's, they were negligent, 100%. Regardless of what happened, my feeling is that if an accident happened or if she was abducted or whatever, that she wasn't being watched. For whatever reason. That shows up. It does show up on a drug test. Ativan. Valium. Klonopin. Xanax. Mm. Those are the only ones that come to mind. Those are all benzodiazepine. Um. I used to be heavily addicted to those. I never thought I'd see a day without them. And now I've went five years without even touching one. I can't believe it. But my life was just miserable on them. And I didn't feel or think. or The one thing that would make me go back is if my baby was gone like this or something. But they do show up on drug tests. They didn't pass their drug tests though. But I think all three adults. See, I think that too sometimes, but I lean more towards Dawn maybe finding out after. They speak for the wells, yeah. They help with resources and those kind of things. Akasha, are you rolling your eyes at me, honey? Why? <laughs> I don't blame them. This pack of clowns ruined us. Now they don't believe us. I know. It did ruin, like, the chances of YouTubers getting interviews or getting, I don't know. They already, I, I really wasn't ever concerned about getting an interview with them. But some of the people surrounding them, I don't want them just thinking they're going to be sneak recorded and different things like that. And then, oh, Lord. But I know she just didn't vanish. Can I say everyone go to Google today before midnight and put in Betty White? Okay, I'll try it. Was not anyone talking about the 10 pounds per eyewitness accounts and pictures? I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Mr. Positive. Happy for you to be here, too. I'm certain if she wasn't abducted. I know, Mark. It's very weird. I'm so happy you were here to catch a live too, uh, Jordan. Wait, who ended now? Stephanie? Woofy? Oh, man. Well, um, can, hey, Woofy, can you do me a huge, huge favor and grab her link? Do I think those texts are legitimate? Yeah, but I think it could be easily faked. I had never thought about it, actually. Um, I don't see the purpose in Hunter sending fake screenshots, although I do feel like Allie seems like she might have an axe to grind. Someone pointed out her leg was swollen. Let's see. Did she have a slushie that day? wonder if it's that. Her mom said she did. Um, it may be just the way she's leaned. You know how your leg kind of like when you lean over it gets like smushed and looks wider? But it truly does look like there's something on the bottom of that belt. I can't get past that. 
can I zoom back in? Yeah, I can. I just don't know if it'll be that clear. I don't know how to do it on StreamYard, but I have a picture that's more zoomed in. See, like, there's the stain, and if you look, like, right here, it kind of looks like it. And if, see that? So obvious. Delena, what is you feeling, if I may ask? It could have been from her drink. Another reason I think those texts are legitimate is because, oh, it's full moon. <laughs> Party night for what video? <laughs> what, on this? This is the entire picture that I have. This is not a picture. It's a screenshot from the video where she's asleep in the car. No, the glare, not responsible for the abduction, but still just maybe a little bit negligent. But I don't know who that is. I mean, I think taking your eyes off of them is one thing, but um, we've, I've, and it's rumors, you know, but I mean more of like maybe drinking or partying or got a buzz and fell asleep or, you know, that kind of thing. It was evening time. We know Dawn said at five o'clock she likes to, drink a little bit so no I don't think that no not you Alex <laughs> I don't think that uh really the face that you made there no not responsible but negligent yes five years old you really shouldn't have your eyes off of them for that long maybe a minute or two not long enough for them to get too far away from you I have a five-year-old I'm not. Will, you know what? I've thought about it. Only because of you, truly. You've made me think it's possible. Because I thought for sure, no way. There's no way that they're going to go abduct a baby from her house in the middle of nowhere when they can go to it and playground or whatever. But when I said that to Will, he said, what if they followed her home? She was all over Facebook, you know, beautiful little girl, pictures all over the internet, or someone sees her out in public, it is possible. That's just not my the one I lean towards the most, but I still think it's possible. I love her, her in the red dress. That is one of my absolute most favorite pictures of her ever. She's so cute. Like right there. Oh my God. Oh, look at her. I mean, and, you know, Candace was taking her to do stuff a lot. She took a lot of pictures of her. Like, I've said this before on here, kind of like a doting mother. You know how mom's like, oh, my God, look at them. They're so cute. Or even in the car with, get her with her arm up. She said, so, I don't know. It really hurts my feelings to think that maybe she is innocent. And for some of the things that have been said to her. Now, I don't, I don't feel too bad about speculating here respectfully on my channel where we discuss that kind of thing and we speculate, but I would never say she was the worst mom, ask her where she was buried, ask her if she was hit upside the head with a rock or the kind of horrible things that have been said to her. And that honestly hurts my heart bad. I can't, I, just because if she is innocent when we don't know, we just don't know, we don't know. And if she's innocent, I mean, imagine, even if she's, even if it was an accident, or like I said earlier, even if it was abuse, like she snapped, she's probably still very heartbroken, and, um, but if she's innocent, yes, broken dishes, and the boy's hair wasn't really shaved either, I think she could have been abducted, but I don't feel it was a complete stranger, in my opinion, the family dynamic allowed for abduction to occur if that's what happened a hundred percent with what like i said partying and that kind of thing the people you might have druggies around and yeah totally agree i have like like i said i flip flop more than anybody on this one i just i just do 
Thank you, pointer lover. <laughs> Cannot be certain of anything. Yes. Yep, I know where mine are too. And I live in the woods. Seriously, you can't even see neighbors from my porch unless it's winter. And um, I grew up even more in the woods, like the backwoods. And I, I, I got to know where Bentley is. I don't like him out of my sight when we're outside. Because I know in a damn heartbeat, a bunch of coyotes, a bear, who knows? I mean, I just know. He does, he's not allowed to go out of my sight at all. We have a big field. He's got lots of room to play in where I can see him. Look at my arms doing my, talking with my hands. <laughs> we have lots of room to play in where I can see him. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Um, I don't like him out of my sight. So that's just me. I'm way behind y'all. I'm sorry. Hey, we'll come to your chat, Johnny, if you do live streams or whatever. Um, that girl from Captain Marvel. Or the act Captain Marvel. <laughs> but his phone is with TBI. It would have to be from Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about it. Uh, but how old was he? I don't know. I'm thinking it was Allie or Hunter. I bet we could ask her and get, like, the details on that. She's really kind, and she stopped by here in my lives and stuff. I think statistics also plays a role in how likely things are to have happened. So Rose and Summer both go missing. What are the odds both were random people? Yeah, and it, here you go, Amber. Maybe both of them were not grandest, but the odds that neither one of them had someone in the family involved, you're right. It gets lower and lower once you start looking at it that way. The footprints and now are the footprints a thing for sure because <sighs> there's very limited reception any decent criminal knows not to take a phone that's true carol but sometimes they still do it oh christy i was like how mean <laughs> that face <laughs> okay there's not nearly enough information for me to lean towards any theory yeah i change my mind all the time yeah absolutely you can message me on facebook it's uh ally erickson you don't think they harmed her summer was harmed daily she was abused for she suffered in it was a planned abduction Ooh, very possible. The only thing about Candace neglecting Summer by not watching her, but yourself on that hill, no other houses, seems like one road in. I know, but that's how I am, but that's how I live. Truly, I promise. And I still, like, maybe I'm just like a super paranoid person, but my thoughts are coyotes, um, bear, you know, there's so many different things. Maybe it, he gets hurt out there and I can't hear him. Um, like law enforcement, all cards are on the table. Yeah. I will say she wasn't a good mom. Yep, yeah, that's how I feel. You know, we there's some things that are clear as day and obvious. You can see that she wasn't a very hyper vigilant mother, but also the way that she was treated by, you know, that situation was really bad. It was tough. Oh, okay, I get it.
Yeah, not helpful at all. Uh, I don't know. I have about two acres of woods. Yeah, I, I'd say I'm living on about two as well. But I grew up like in the backwoods, in the end of a holler, and like on my grand my grandfather's property, which like me and my cousins lived out there too. Um, but around us was like 40 acres and, you know, we, I'll tell you guys one thing. We played outside every day, all the time. And we had mountains that were just as steep. These mountains were so steep that we had to grab like the trees above and pull up. Look, I'm still using my hands and all you see is my hands sticking up. We had to grab, let me get this off, the trees above and like use them to pull up the hill and stuff. And it is possible that kids could make it up that hill. You wouldn't think the one we were going up looked like it was straight up and down. But at summer's age, I don't know because I've said this before too, but you guys know that I have little kids um, that are learning to walk and toddlers after even up until like maybe around seven, they don't have a lot of agility, a lot of balance. Um, I think I put that in my description of this video. Like, this case is wild. Never seen the footprints are a fact. Yep, we need to ask them to. That would make all the difference. I want to know about game cams, too. Because I know around my house, there's tons of them. Um, everyone locally does not feel that way about Don and Candace, especially after all all the hell they're being put through by these idiots. Yeah. <clears throat> it certainly made me kind of look at things a little differently. Although I've tried to be very respectful of them the whole time until six. Oh, wow. Okay, Chrissy. Until the pranks and stuff started happening. And I cannot help but roll my eyes at that. It's fucking childish and annoying. planned abduction. Maybe it could be illegal adoption. Don keeps talking about that $50,000. If she wandered off, wouldn't she have eventually been found? I know if they come back here, some of us locals will be out in support of Summer in the Wells. Good. Why? And they say, I love that you come in here because that clears something up for me. I was wondering, they said that all the neighbors and the local people felt that Don and Candace were involved. They said it many times, all the neighbors, all the people we've seen out, they went into a food pantry at a church. I don't know if y'all saw this. Oh my God. I'm almost certain they didn't tell them they were recording. And hold on. Y'all want to see it before I go because I got to go, but this is stupid. All right. Hold on. The people in the pantry were suspicious of the wells. I will say that. I'm going to find the video. It's a really quick video, like two minutes. But I didn't see them be told they were recording, and I don't believe they would have spoke so freely if they knew. That's just me. I don't appreciate disrespecting people like that either. And also, I wanted to go down there. Like I've said this a million times, but what is the point whenever... It's like this. Hold on. Okay, found it. Have y'all seen this? <clears throat> I 
I don't believe Candace is a vigilant mother has been. She and Don, they are missing eight children, either criminally or by the state. Yep, it is tragic. I didn't know that. They don't have... I'm stress cooking from these people. Okay, so some of you haven't seen it. I don't think I'm seeing, like, my comments very quickly. They're delayed. Um... <coughs> nope. <clears throat> okay. I can't keep up with all the videos that he's posted because, well, let's see, four days ago, this is where, if you watch my mouse, okay, this is where we're going to watch. Here's another church. I'm sure they didn't tell them. Did Summer burn in a fire? Searching for Summer. Neighbor says they're involved. What's Candace up to here? So, Hawkins County DCF. Dollar General, another place we probably didn't tell him. Yo, Candace, where's Summer? No neighbors are involved. Candace and Don Wells did it. Summer Wells, Beach Creek Market Deli. Summer Wells will not be forgotten. Will the police arrest Candace? Don and Candace Fly, you're fired. How to find Summer Wells? Look in barns, sheds, trailers. I mean, this, oh, God. So hard to take some of this seriously. Is Summer Wells in Mexico across the U.S. border? Don Wells wanted to meet with Molly Go Lightly. So, let me check your comments. And they are hurting the case. People calling TV after watching these vids. Yes, only call them if you have real information and experience that you witnessed yourself. Not if you're thinking about things and they don't add up and you're like, oh wow, could this be it? No, only with real information. Okay. Here you go. I'm gonna go pee, oh no, shoot. I can't. I gotta sit here and talk about it because I'm not getting in trouble for this. No way. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It breaks their heart. And wait, wait a minute, you guys. Around here, it breaks their wait. heart too. Should I show the? I do. I have small. Can you hear it? Because I should. I don't want to show them. Times. They didn't consent what to being on camera. I'm almost sure of it. Yes, and I'm like, honey. You know, you got to be careful and don't go out unless there's two or three of you together. No. I mean, it's, it's bad. But, uh, and, but I'm afraid that it's just like she disappeared off the face of the earth. Do you think it was a kidnapping? Awesome. Yeah. It could, it could be. Could be. It could be. This is too much for my brain. I, I understand. Yeah. It's just awfully strange that she just, look, she was gone. No trace. No nothing. And we've all searched our own properties two or three times in our outbuildings all along you know maybe she'll come into that we put everybody's book the whole community not a trace and that's just so odd and that just makes us think somebody's just come pick her up and she's gone it's just all it's, yeah, have, it's, I, I, have you ever met um, Don and Candace Walls? Have you ever I met think them? That, when I, we had a pantry up at another church and we came here. And Don and Candace in summer and the boys would come up to our food pantry twice a month. And the last I'm not time sure if she says some, anything about it. Maybe a different one that then there's someone that they've interviewed that has a couple people that have been suspicious. But my point is. That's not the only one. Oh, God, I don't want to. I'm just clicking off. When you're going to places and you're not asking, I don't I don't know. I don't even know if that's legal, but it's certainly not ethical, you know, and there's a, an amount of respect. We need to give a missing child case. Uh, we'll do this while we listen. So this is the Solomon Temples. Missionary 
Baptist Church. I'm getting ready to get off. I can't see you because of the light. We were just told that Don and Candace Wells were... I'm not going to play this. You guys can check it out. I don't think that they've been... Um, look, 11-11. Um, you guys can go check it out over on his channel. <sighs> I'm also upset Grandma's child is still missing. Yeah, I know. I don't think Amber is going live. I do think Cher's going live in like four minutes. If you're not sure, they're striking creators left and right. Yep, you're right, Bobby Pin. Will did a live today. He, uh, she, They tried to strike him, but they said that it was, YouTube said it was fair use. The picture of Summer next to the trailer, dark-headed girl. She looks like she's looking from the waist. That's what you're about. Huh. These food places are supposed to be confidential. Oh, I had not even thought about that. I'm sorry, I hit the mic again. Oh, share rescheduled. Oh, my God. People that go in there, yeah, they don't want everybody to know that. That one had a few people in there, too. Oh, my. I'm glad that I didn't play that on there. Okay. I'm going to play that number. Yes, play it. That's my number, girl. What's Cher's channel? It's called Voices Behind the Wall. Um true crime outcast i think i love my, this chat is wonderful i so appreciate you guys what a fun time we've had thank you guys for coming and i guess i'm gonna hop off here and we'll talk more as things progress depending on what happens um share has a good channel the pink doll yeah i'll tell you what she has some interesting videos because she actually when everything first happened she reached out to don and candace and Don and her created, I wouldn't say a friendship. It was more of a business, not business either. It was about summer. They talked often, but Cher also has, you know, pointed the finger at them when she felt that they looked suspicious too. She's been honest about that, but she got a firsthand experience talking to him. She shared a lot of the videos. Um, no, it's a different one, the Pink Dahlia. She shared a lot of her conversations with Don, texts with Don, things like that. She shared some things from Robin, um, some voice clips. There's some interesting stuff on there. Yep, totally blunt with Cher. Yep. But yeah, this was a fun chat, and I appreciate you guys. I better go check and see how Trenton's nose is doing and everything else. And then, oh, I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. Um, I understand her now, too, and I think people are too hard on her. She's a very real and raw, honest person. Oh, and her live tonight is going to be deep. It is deep, deep, deep. It is about, see, today, I love you, Sandy Beach. Today, um, we were talking about this little boy who was the third kid I've covered this month, who's went into foster care, went back with parents and still been murdered. And Cher said that it made her want to speak out about her experience in the foster care system and all the different things. So I think it'll be really good. Yeah. Can, um, Woofy, will you love you too? Woofy, will you, uh, drop Cher's link? Oh, it's rescheduled. I see Cher going live tomorrow. Okay. Well, maybe we can still uh, share that link and they can go over there and check it out. And then um, I'll see you guys maybe here tomorrow. Definitely over there. Um, Chrissy, I'm so glad that derp face wasn't for me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love you, Christy. What, Chrissy, what? I thought we were girls. <laughs> share is smart. I finally opened my own eyes. Not listen to other channels showing clips. Yeah. She's a very, like I said, raw and real and honest, and she's smart. She's been through a lot. Her perspective is so important, and like with all the things that are happening in the foster care system and all of that, and then just in true crime in general, it's, yeah, important.
Oh, I know that was awful. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys coming. Thank you guys for everything. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. As soon as something else happens or another, uh, in this case, or maybe another one. Oh, I think I'm going to do a Delphi discussion soon, but stay tuned. Yeah, her story is sad but important. And don't forget the channel Support with Steffa did a live tonight that is about the same little boy that I covered earlier. So if you guys have any free time and, um, you know, can go over there, I would really appreciate that. But all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Have a great night. And yeah, it's a full moon. So be careful and be safe. <laughs> okay. Bye. Did I do it right that time?